So what does the future hold for Microsoft Flight Simulator? Well today I'll be taking a look at some future add-ons and future hardware for Microsoft Flight Simulator that may be with us within the next year, so stay tuned. Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud and welcome back to another video. Now today I'll be running through what I think could be the future of Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I do flight training videos, flight sim videos, group reports and a lot more. So if you love everything about aviation, you've certainly come to the right place. But now let's hop into this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the actual Asobo or Microsoft updates that everyone will get without paying an extra penny. So as you guys know, the Japan World Update is coming soon. I believe it's coming out tomorrow here in the UK. So if you're watching this in the future, it may have already came out. And I do believe this is the format many updates will be following in the future. So we will have world updates for individual countries as well as some general fixes. So this does mean the Microsoft team will work through countries in my eyes, so we might see updates for the USA, for the UK, Eastern Europe, Russia, Africa, the Middle East, etc. In my eyes, I think this is a good way to update because it means hopefully we get smaller, less intensive updates for Microsoft Flow Simulator. Now this is pure speculation, this is what I would like to see. It would be good if we could choose what updates we'd like, if they are world updates that may use up more space. As in my eyes, if you're not flying in the Middle East or with Japan a lot, I don't really think you're going to want to update it. And if you haven't got much space on your PC, you may want this option as well. That is just pure speculation guys, but in my eyes that could work pretty well. Now let's talk about some of the add-ons. So, you guys may have heard that Aerosoft is working on the CRJ700 and I can confirm it's still in development, but it's of course a work in progress and I don't expect to see it for a while. Now sadly we have been told through various news sources that this will be delayed. This isn't because of Aerosoft, I'm not a complete genius when it comes to this, but I believe it's to do with the software development kit not being fully ready and Microsoft Flight Simulator not being fully ready for a completely advanced add-on like the CRJ700. It does look absolutely brilliant guys, it will be very interesting to see how this works on my PC, I'm very excited for that. I can't wait to be doing some short domestic hops on it, it looks really nice. Now we're going to talk about some other add-ons. Okay so you may have heard that PMDG is working on a 737 next generation for Microsoft Flight Simulator and while we haven't heard much about it so far, sadly I believe this has been delayed. News has trickled its way down into the Microsoft Flight Simulator communities and I believe the timeline has been moved to the second quarter of 2021. So sadly guys, this is quite a while. However, this does mean that they will be able to put loads of effort into it. On the sad side, there is a chance that if delays keep happening, that the release will slide down to the fourth quarter of 2021. If you guys want to read this article where I've got the news from, I put a link in the description, it's on the PMDG form. Moving on to another payware add-on, we're talking about Pushback Express. I've talked about this add-on before, and as I said, it's already being All updated. Right, Version 1.1 has been released, I'm not too sure what it's added yet, I haven't really looked into it, and they haven't been very helpful on their website, it doesn't state anything, but the main thing I believe it's improved has been performance. Now guys, this is the thing you've been waiting for, this looks absolutely amazing. Honeycomb Aeronautical, which if you guys didn't know is an absolutely fantastic manufacturer of float simulator hardware, have released a little teaser shot of their Charlie rudder pedals. These do look absolutely amazing. Of course they're following their black and red colour scheme with all their products. They're very well known for their amazing yoke hardware, that does look epic, I would love to try it at one point. And also their Bravo Throttle Quadrants, which is still being shipped out to people, I believe they've had some delay issues with them. These look really epic, I'd love to try them, they don't fit into my budget just yet, so maybe in the future. To me they're more designed for general aviation aircraft, those rudder pedals look more styled like Cessna rudder pedals, but they do look very epic. Another add-on that I haven't looked into because there's not much in there, is the Concorde by DC designs for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I believe they're still working towards it, but the detail on it is sparse, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. Okay, so in this video guys, I've talked about how world updates will be the future of updates for Microsoft Flight Simulator, greatly improving the detail of the simulator. I think that's going to be massive. 
They talked about the Aerosoft CRJ700, which by the way does look epic. I'm not too sure, I believe there is a delay in that, so keep an eye out for that one. I believe we'll see it in under a year, but don't hold me to it. And sadly there is a delay with the PMDG737 next generation, but that once again, from the photos we've seen so far, does look amazing. And the highlight of this show, Honeycomb Aeronautical releasing a photo on their Facebook page for the Charlie Rudder pedals. I'm really excited guys, tell me what add-on you're interested in, what add-on you're most excited for. I'm certainly most excited for the Charlie Rudder pedals alongside the Aerosoft CRJ700. They all look epic to me guys, if you enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and subscribe but from me today that is all bye bye thanks to all my captains as always if you want to find out how to become a captain go on to my instagram and click on my discord link it's all on there you can find out all the details you need to know on there but from me today that is all bye bye